February 4th. The Overmastering Majesty of Personal Power. For the love of Christ constraineth us. 2 Corinthians 5.14 Paul says he is overruled, overmastered, held in as a vice by the love of Christ. Very few of us know what it means to be held in a grip by the love of God. We are held by the constraint of our experience only. The one thing that held Paul until there was nothing else on his horizon was the love of God. The love of Christ constraineth us. When you hear that note in a man or a woman, you can never mistake it. You know that the Spirit of God is getting unhindered way in that life. When we are born again of the Spirit of God, the note of testimony is on what God has done for us, and rightly so. But the baptism of the Holy Ghost obliterates that forever, and we begin to realize what Jesus meant when he said, Ye shall be witnesses unto me. Not witnesses to what Jesus can do, that is an elementary witness, but witnesses unto me. We will take everything that happens as happening to him, whether it be praise or blame or persecution or condemnation. No one can stand like that for Jesus Christ, who is not constrained by the majesty of his personal power. It is the only thing that matters, and the strange thing is that it is the last thing realized by the Christian worker. Paul says he is gripped by the love of God. That is why he acts as he does. Men may call him mad or sober, but he does not care. There is only one thing he is living for, and that is to persuade men of the judgment seat of God and of the love of Christ. This abandon to the love of Christ is the one thing that bears fruit in the life and it will always leave the impression of the holiness and of the power of God, never of our personal holiness.